So peep this. One thing that I think a lot of you um, need to think about is a lot of times we get in relationships and sometimes we get in committed relationships with people that we absolutely care, you know, the world about, you know, love them to the moon and the stars. But sometimes it's just not the right fit. Sometimes it needs to be who God has chosen for you. And sometimes we get hurt and abused or, or, or have experiences that make us kind of give up on the truth that there is a soulmate for us. The Bible says in Genesis that Father created mankind. He said he created them male and female. That's what he said he created. You see, when God is having this conversation with wisdom because we know that it was wisdom that he said to let us create man wisdom in um, proverbs is telling you that in the beginning he possessed me so that's why you see me when i'm saying in this video i was ignited you'll hear me in a minute uh, you know um she's saying he possessed me and did this this is what a man does and should do to a woman take over her what you need to understand is that when God created Adam mankind the word is very clear this is in Genesis 1 they were created in Genesis 1 they were formed in Genesis 2 creation and manifestation formation two different things and when he created them they were complete they were a complete soul one they were one he said, I created mankind and I made him, made mankind male and female. So if we understand that these are souls and he says when they are together, they are one flesh, you know. And so we, we need to understand that, you know, we can't give up on the fact that we have or or disregard the fact that there is someone that we were made with at the time of creation manifestation and creation are two different things something is created when father has a dream about you or a thing and he had a dream about us and when he dreamt us we were complete we were complete both halves were one in him so I want us to never give up on the truth that we do have a soulmate. And as you examine all throughout scripture, Father absolutely adores wisdom. Just like Solomon had one woman, uh, despite all of the women that were after him and all of the wives that he inherited of his father and the wives that he took on, Solomon has a has a issue, you know, with uh, strange women too. This is his downfall. But there was one that he absolutely had a fancy for, and she had a fancy for him. And he said something very remarkable when they came together. This is my equal. This is my weight, my mate. They knew it. They knew it. So, those of you that don't believe there's a soulmate, I'm just going to pose this question. Now that you're listen, looking at this and you're seeing the word of God, is that the truth? Is that what God has revealed to you? Or have we gotten to the point where there's a pride in us when we don't want to admit that maybe we've made some decisions in our own right and didn't understand that God had other plans for us and we didn't wait. We didn't wait on love because love endures. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not peer pressured. Love doesn't try to make something or be something that it's not. And I think a lot of us have done that to ourselves and others. So I hope this, you know, gives you something to think about. Oftentimes, um, we make decisions and we choose the wrong people. And sometimes we miss our moment with our soulmate. The unfortunate thing is sometimes we don't connect with our soulmate because we don't listen to God, which means that there are souls that wander. You understand? And this is something that is that is a truth. And um, I want to like 
give some of you an advice. Stop getting involved in relationships where you're trying to make someone something that they're not. I did that. And it was a beautiful thing. But when that person can't live up to your idea of what should be what God's dream was, his idea for you was, when they can't do that, they'll disappoint you and you will disappoint them. And your marriage and your relationship will fail there. It's not that we don't have a mate. Father doesn't do anything incomplete. Remember that. When he created us, he created us complete and perfect. And he called us good. Do you understand? I am not attracted to the average person. I'm attracted to revelators. And when I, I remember I talked to my, my daughter one time. She said, Mommy, you know, it always seems like you're with someone that's beneath you. Or what beneath your calling or what have you and it's just the type of person that I am I'm, I'm very loving affection and I'm very passionate about the things that I believe in and um, but one thing that I do know is is that if some of you are making the mistake that I made when the relationship deteriorates they'll be angry and you'll be wondering why are you so angry why are you so you know da 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 it's because many of us are absolutely in love with Jesus and they are not where we are. They are not your soulmate. They are not, let's just say you're a priest. They're not a priest with you. They, they can't shoulder or be that help me because you're so busy trying to make them something that they're not that they end up resenting you. And then they begin to try and try and try. And then the unfortunate thing is sometimes if you have a kingdom assignment father will make sure that you and your soul may come together and the decisions and, and uh, with others this is when things get real nasty because you, you will know that that person is drawing to you you will know it and you it's the difference between knowing someone that's my husband that's my wife it's almost like you know it instantly because it's a soul connection and then the person that you're with they know it and then they begin to go crazy and worrying and because they're spending so much time trying to be something that they simply are not and then they begin to resent you and they begin to understand that you're cheating on them with jesus and they don't understand that because they're so busy trying to please and keep up with you and they don't understand that you are soul tied with Jesus and your soul mate is already in covenant. That marriage, that triangle is already covenant with God and it will come to pass. And Father is a very jealous God. I remember uh, one time I was sitting with a uh, prophet and he played um, a man on the YouTube and I couldn't see his face at the time, but I was listening to him and I remember getting ignited. I was like, like, it was like, I, I just, it was something about this man that was igniting me in a way that I was like, I have to have this man. I asked about this man and prophet said I've been following him for years and you know blah 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 and I was like I have to see him I want to see him you know yeah mm -hmm. this was me acting like Sheba remember Sheba with Solomon she she got her stuff packed her stuff and got gifts and everything and she said I'm gonna go talk to him myself that's what she was doing so this was my thinking and then I remember being so like, oh. when he told me, he said he passed just before I met you, not too long before I met you. I said, what are you talking about? I said, that's, that's a revelator. That's me. I, I was so, I was ignited for this man. And 
his name was Veron Ash. His name was Veron Ash. And he was deep like me. He was, you know, he was able to go into different realms and he was able to see far. And I just remember, I was like, this man is magnificent. And it was true, it wasn't fake. You know, his, his gift was authentic, you know. And he was um, uh, celibate, so he didn't have like anybody, and and I was just like, oh. <laughs> and so I was very ignited by him, and I listened to him from time to time because he's such a powerful, powerful voice from the Lord, a true servant of the Lord. And he had an unfortunate um, passing, you know. He served so many people, and people did him dirty. And in, in, in the end of his life, he he didn't. They didn't want to give. Um, he ended up getting sick, and I believe he was homeless. With all of the things that he did for the body of Christ, when he needed us, where were we? There's so much that we can learn just from this part that I'm sharing, you know, about soulmates, about the truth of covenants that are made in heaven, you know, about ourselves and about how we treat, you know, chosen high priests of God. Um, I'm only drawn to revelators. Uh, everybody is a prophet nowadays. Everybody can preach. Everybody has a this, but if you can't make it come alive, I'm just like, and I know Veron Ash made it come alive. And I wish we had more, more men of God, men of God, excuse me, like that. Maybe some of the ladies will start acting right. Hmm.